only extra is with Michael B. Jordan, behind the scenes exclusively. Yes, Rachel is with Creed Three star talking movies. You threatening me? Muscles. You got one, Back one gun out. I got one gun look out. At, look at him. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> and who should be the next sexiest man alive? You were on it two years ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody you'd want to see on it? Normally, I don't think I would have a, like such a, a quick answer. You know, I think John, Jonathan, Jonathan Majors. Oh, that's right. I'll say great. Jonathan Majors top of uh, cover of the magazine for sure. But this sexiest man is showing us why he got that title. I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. Ripped and ready, Michael is stepping back into the ring for the new Creed sequel out next March. What's your workout? Like, what do you what do you do from day to day to like have that look? Okay, I'm gonna be clear. So, oh. Creed on screen is kind of unrealistic. You know what I'm saying? So that <laughs> that's not a day to day thing at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real. You know, but but you know, when it comes to like you know playing you know fictional characters, you know, mm -hmm. you, you want to give people that 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 experience of looking like large in the life on screen. So mm -hmm. for me, it's like it's eating every three hours, mm -hmm. uh, drinking about a gallon of water a day, mm -hmm. working out twice a day, um, trying to sleep. Rest is really important. But when you're like, you know, in the middle of a project, you know, I'm pretty sure traveling all that good stuff is hard to mm -hmm. get a good night's rest. But but sleep's really important. And um, just being consistent at it. Boxing naturally tightens you up. Mm -hmm. So just like being in the ring, getting great cardio, um, moving around, your body starts to tighten up over yeah. time. Michael is also flexing his behind the camera muscles, making his directing debut with the movie. Is that something that you always aspire to do? Uh, yeah, kind of. I want to say that I think the more I've been on sets, the more I learn from everybody, you know, all the moving pieces, all the department heads, just everything that goes into, a, you know, a film or a television show. And I think over time, being in front of the camera, you start to have a stronger opinion. You know, mm -hmm. you want to see, you know, how the camera is being placed, you know, what, what does the lighting look like? What stories are we telling? And I think just over the years, especially after working with Ryan on our first film, mm -hmm. Fruitville Station, I think uh, being able to see somebody that looks like me, same age, you know, kind of like, you know, commanding the set and directing yeah. the film, it definitely gave me that kind of like feeling that I could do it too. And uh, then, then I started to really start to look at projects or take my time on set uh, with a different eye, knowing I was kind of slowly learning and watching as, as the years went on, yeah. waiting for the opportunity for me to kind of step behind the camera on the right project and Creed 3 happened to be that perfect one. I love you. But would Michael, who turned to his A Journal for Jordan director Denzel Washington for advice. As fate would have it, I guess the universe, you know, um, you know planned it this way. What I was, I would be able to work for my first time with Denzel right before I started directing. So for me, just being on set, being in his back pocket, just watching and listening. And, um, and he's very, uh, you know, giving with knowledge and, and, and gems and wisdom. He's always speaking and, you know, quotes and stuff like that. So uh, Denzel definitely played a huge part in kind of like my prep for the movie, which is arguably one of the most important parts of the process. Ever consider trying to revive his Black Panther in the Marvel multiverse? It's beautiful. Is that a possibility? I don't know if it's a possibility. I mean, at one point or another, um, being able to like be in the Marvel Universe was like a dream come true, and if there was an opportunity for me to come back, of course I would. Like See, it's you like, could be to it, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not one of those guys. Like, oh no, I would never. Like, no. Like working with Ryan, you know what we did on you know that first project, um, and what Marvel does as a whole is uh, something that. Um, you know, as a fan, as a, as a nerd and a geek that I am, I just love to see, you know, those movies and those characters come to life. We caught up with Michael on the set of the new Chase Sapphire Reserve brand campaign shoot. I can get used to this. Where Hollywood's $25 million man opened up about breaking into fame. When you go back and you think about the first credit card that you had, can you think about the first thing that you bought with it? I'm not gonna lie, it might be gas. That's it, I was, that's mine. <laughs> I was gonna say, mine is, I knew it was food, groceries, yeah, gas. I think it was gas. I think the first time I got a credit card, I was so eager to get in the car and just go. <laughs> and Michael is definitely a man who's going places.